good morning guys so today is a sunday it's sunday morning and you can see even from my eyes i am tired because yeah i'm really tired because i didn't really sleep much last night i was up working i prefer working in the morning so from 12 a.m like to morning and around 4 a.m also yesterday i was just scrolling on youtube and i came across this video just exposing certain things like cardi b said on twitter and then she deleted the tweet it was like a voice message and she was basically revealing how she's going through demonic oppression or possession we're gonna talk about it and i was so disturbed in my spirit because i got flashbacks of something that happened nine years ago and i just decided to make this video i don't even know how the video is gonna be it's not structured at all it's very different to the kind of videos that i normally do i'm more of a vlogger but i felt strongly in my spirit to share this video and just a particular message that i have for cardi b based on what i heard and what i know so for those of you who don't know um cardi b is a mega superstar i'm talking millions millions hundreds of millions of followers she's a superstar and it's become a trend that hollywood celebrities are coming out one after the other you know just explaining the supernatural things that they encounter uh, the other day i was hearing vanessa hudgens was talking about you know talking to demons and having this experience with spirits and there's so many celebrities actually who are saying these things so we know that they are meddling with uh, the supernatural meddling with demons meddling with evil powers sometimes they might joke about it they may laugh about it but the truth of the matter is that this is real guys it's happening that's the reason why you must be so careful the kind of music you listen to we're going to play the voice note but Cardi B basically says that you know this particular song is like releasing demons so you have to be so careful I don't even listen to circular music I stopped a very long time ago because it's powerful music is powerful that's why when you play worship music it changes the atmosphere you feel you know you feel the presence of god and in the same way when you play songs that are inspired by demons you invite their presence into your home as well i've been having these weird feelings lately and that's kind of why i didn't want to do this song shake it or like any drill songs because it's like these songs are activating like these demons that are killed. Did you hear that this song are activating demons and she actually didn't want to do the song. You are hearing this. It's not as if someone is trying to fake it or put one in a bad light. She's saying these things herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that girl anymore. Like, like I just, I just want to be a mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that old Cardi anymore. <sighs> That's the part that literally sent chills down my spine. And I kind of got emotional. When she says, I just want to be a mother, I don't want to do this anymore. That line, I don't want to do this anymore, stood out to me so much. And I'll tell you why. Because I've heard it before. And because it came from the same kind of desperation the same kind of cry for help another girl in a different time oh my god i don't even know this it it, it just yeah i don't want to be that anymore like and she's coming back she's coming back bro like i don't want to be that i want to be a good person i don't want to be that anymore I want to be a mother. This song is activating demons. I don't want to. <laughs> One thing you need to understand is that the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. To steal your peace, to kill your joy, and to destroy your life. The devil has no good plans for you. And so hearing her speak, you know, about this she and this torment that she's going through because she doesn't want this she to return it makes me just you know feel so sad because there are many more like her who are going through a similar situation and she she's referring to um it could be perhaps an alter ego which is actually a demon a demon is a personality without a body it's a disembodied spirit it doesn't have a body but it has a personality which it wants to express through a person so when a demon comes into you 
it 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 manifests its personality through you and so you take on the personality of that demon that's the reason why i feel she's saying it's coming back i don't want to be that old cardi anymore my old demon is coming back she calls the she um and she basically you can see a differentiation between who she says she really is and this other person that she becomes when this thing takes over her so that's how i can explain you know what demonic possession is possession means something is actually in you and you've been possessed by it it has taken over you whereas demonic oppression could be an affliction or something that a demon is trying to torment you with but externally so it hasn't actually come into you but externally it can still you can still have maybe a, a, a torment in one way or the other now let me explain what happened nine years ago and why it is relevant to what Cardi B is actually going through nine years ago I was in university and I was staying in a neighborhood with a lot of students it was like a student neighborhood and I used to go to church with my older sister. We were known as the Christian girls in our community. You know, when you are a student that goes to church, you're often looked upon like, you know, a goody two shoes, a Christian girl and all of that. So that was us. And, you know, I mean, we were not perfect. Like we literally lived the student life, you understand, but we took God seriously. And so there was a perception that we were, uh, you know, holier than thou. <laughs> so anyway, uh one night we got a knock on the door from one of our neighbors he barged in and he looked so he looked so horrified and the first thing he told us is you guys need to come we need your help someone is manifesting demons and you need to come and pray so we were very shocked because first of all <laughs> yes we we're christians and we went to church but at that time of my christian journey i had never seen anyone manifesting demons before apart from like a nigerian movies guys but i had never actually seen it um or prayed for someone that had a demon to begin with it's around 12 30 a.m in the morning everyone was pitch black we walked into my neighbor's home and they were all students so it was one of the students that was actually manif manifesting demons and as we walked into the kitchen guys I actually thought someone might have died because the whole place was turned upside down. We walked inside, we saw this girl, she was quite a, a chubby girl, you know. Her eyes were rolling at the back of her skull and there were about three people holding her but she was overpowering them and that was the demon that was in her. Generally, I would not advise if you're not you know, training deliverance to just go. But at the same time, in that instant and in that specific situation, we could not turn down and say, no, we will not come and pray for her at the, mid the middle of the night because obviously you are Christians and that's what you say you believe in. It began to reveal things about its operation because oftentimes demons will talk and reveal, you know, their personality and what their, their mission is in that body. So it began to say that it is, you know, the demon, it's the demon of lust, a demon of lust. And, you know, when we prayed for her, the demon would talk and then she would come back to herself after some time. So when she came back to herself, she had not been delivered yet. The demon was still in her, but she came back to herself after. You know, when we were tired, we were praying for hours. This thing went until 2 a.m. So when we were tired, we would rest a bit and then she would come back to herself. So she started telling us her story and the fact that she's a girl on campus who slept around with guys a lot. Sometimes she doesn't want to do those things. She will not know what's motivating her to do those things, but she will just find herself sleeping with guys and so it now made sense because the demon said it was a demon of lust and it was a demon of lust that was trying to manifest its personality through her and making her to sleep around with guys so I learned a very vital lesson that day that sometimes people's personalities that they cannot control oftentimes things that are beyond your control you have tried you've tried and for some reason you just cannot break that habit you need to look closer if it's actually a spiritual problem and not just a physical one because that was the case with her she was actually possessed by the demon of lust which was making her to do these things and she did not want that demon she started saying you know i don't want to do this anymore i don't want to live this life anymore i don't want to be that person that sleeps around with guys on campus anymore and that's the reason why I said Cardi B's story or Cardi B's voice notes sent chills down my spine because it's something I've heard before. The desperation of wanting to come out of something that, you, that you're doing against your will. Do you understand? So the long story short is that by the grace of God, we continue praying till about 2.30 a.m. or so. And 
finally this demon came out of her and so when i listened to cardi b's voice note that's the first thing that came to my mind is that story from nine years ago and the fact that this i feel like there's something deeper that meets the eye that is going on and obviously you know the general media is going to play it down and laugh it off but based on experience i don't really feel like it's a joke and that's the reason why i'm making this video urging christians to actually pray for her because it's a different thing when you are in um in something and you are wanting to do it and lead others astray but if you are in something and you're wanting to come out of it it shows that there's a willingness to change and that's when you actually need prayers so we need to pray for her and i hope that she sees this message because she needs to realize that there's a way out and that way out is jesus christ that way out is getting deliverance that way out is putting your past behind you putting your always behind you and i pray she gets the help she needs because deliverance is the only thing deliverance in jesus christ through jesus christ is the only thing that can set someone free and free forever after deliverance what comes next is living a life in line with the word of god if you get delivered and you are not living right the demons can come back seven times as it says seven it can go with the demon can go and come back with seven more demons that are stronger and so this video is also for anyone and everyone who is going through something that you know deep down is not you search truly for deliverance in jesus christ i pray for you that you don't doubt that there is help i pray for you that you will come to know all truth and that the freedom that you seek is in Jesus Christ. Definitely don't have to fight forever. The fight can come to an end.